Here is one of the more interesting tasks that needs to take place and that is getting the candles up into that window. These uh, windows are about 10 feet off the ground and I don't have an A-frame ladder that's tall enough to uh, get up there. So last year I made this contraption. This is a condensate drain line with the hole drilled in it and a piece of string that held the Christmas tree together last year. Ran through it and tied a knot at the top and then passed through the hole and tied again. And the way this works is okay, this combobulation here. The way this works is the candle can go uh, in between here around this loop and then when I pull the string at the other end the loop will tighten and this pipe is uh, made in America and it's long enough for me to get the uh, candles up into these cells. Now the candles I'm going to use, there's a little bit of a story behind the candles. These are the three candles that are going to go up there. I got these candles quite a few years ago now just after the um, the moving whip candles kind of came onto the scene and they were still outrageously expensive for the I think Luminara was the brand that came out with them. So I found these these were about a dollar to a piece and I bought 12 of them to use in the bedroom my intention was I'll use them in the evening I usually have one or two small lamps on and I have these around the room and it just creates a nice quiet pleasant environment. These were advertised as moving wick, which they are. They were also advertised as flickering. They don't flicker. They blink. Now, when this is lighting up the room, this is not pleasant. This is like a psychedelic freak show. So these were completely unusable for the purpose I bought them for. Now the remote has two modes on it. It has candle and light. My expectation was that light mode would just be on, steady, no, no flicking. Flick, or flickering, there aren't enough quotes in the world to go around that flickering, of blinking, flashing. But no, when I hit light, you can see it blinks again to recognize the button press, but it doesn't change anything. Turn it off. Light. Oh, I gotta turn it on first. On. Light. Still f blinks, flashes. Now, I know that none of these LED candles will really look like a flickering candle, but there's other ones like this one, for instance, where these supposedly flicker. And, um, while this isn't great either, I find that much more passable because at least it's got. Oh, it's all blurry. At least it has some variance in the way that it flashes. Um, there's a little bit of dimmer, a uh, little bit of dimming and bright brightening of the bulb. It's not great, but it's passable as flickering. This is just, it's just blinking. There's no beating around the bush. So I wrote to the company and I expressed my dissatisfaction. And I think they gave me half off on the purchase. It wasn't worth sending it back for the shipping costs alone. Uh, so I just put them in the closet and there they sat for several years and then one year he says, oh, I could put these in the foyer windows. So I figured I'll put these in there and this way if they fall or something, it's not really, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it because I don't really have use for these anyways because quite frankly, these are very terrible candles. Anyway, so like I always say, even very terrible products have at least one use case. 
And so here we go. We're going to put these into the foyer windows. Try to get a full view on this. It's going to be hard to get this all on the camera. Start with one of them here. And let's see here. Maybe I'll put the camera. Uh, I'll go back as far as I can. That'll be okay. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to put this through here. And I, I got to do another revision of this this thing uh, because this is only revision number one. What I want to do is change this uh, string here, whatever it's called, to something that has more grip to it, maybe uh, perhaps a rubber band, something like that, because uh, I don't, I wouldn't trust this with any candles that I really like. So, and this bottom part's coming off. These are just cheap plastic. Uh, so that's what, what it's going to do. And I actually got to put this down on the stairs for us to get enough uh, the leverage on the spring. Okay. So there's this, and up in the window it goes. Okay, I think that's up there. Okay, that's number one. That went relatively well. Now I have other candles. I have one other set of candles I bought last year. Uh, also battery operated. They were supposed to be soft white. They supposedly look like a regular candle. And um, they're much nicer than these. They're, they actually have like a glass bulb and everything. But they're not soft white, they're blue. And they don't have a remote. They have a timer, but I think these, especially with the remote, it's just going to be the best candles to put here. They're not. They're not as bright as they're likely to be. They're kind of hard to see from the outside and from the inside too. But it's something you can tell it's there at least. Okay, we're going to do uh, candle number two now. And actually, you know, this is working pretty well. Last year, I recall, it didn't work quite that well. Maybe there's no reason to change the, uh, the string to uh, something else. Okay, so there we go. All three of them are in the window. I think what I'm going to do, because that works so well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back later tonight. I'm going to get some more video. I'm going to try put, putting one of the other candles up in the windows and see how those candles look compared to these. And maybe if they look better, I'll use those instead because these really are not as visible as I'd like them to be from the outside. These are the other candles I mentioned earlier. Wireless Tiffany candles. Eight hour timer. Real glass for the look 
of a traditional taper candle. That much is true, I'll give it that. Bright Star brand. Twice as bright. New warm white flame for a realistic look. Even the picture looks like it's cold white. It looks pretty blue to me. Here's a real candle. And here's this one. It's not even close. I don't know how in the world they're trying to pass that off as warm white. Uh, let's see what else this says. It lasts 10 times longer than incandescent battery operated candles. I'd say it probably lasts more than that, but I don't know. Anyways, so I'm going to put these in the window and see, see what it looks like. I'll just put one in and uh, see how it compares. The other three have turned on and they are visible. Just not very much. I think this is probably brighter. Alright, so I'm going to get one of these out of the window. And getting these out is not quite as easy as getting it in. Because I don't have the control of getting a loop over the candle. Like I do when the candle is uh, down below already. Although it looks like, uh, just like putting them up. It seems to be going easier than it did last year. So we go, that candle's down, and I'm going to take the blue candle, put the blue candle up in the window, and see what it looks like. I think this is a little bit heavier than the other one is. It's caught on the window handle. There we go. Okay. I have to take it back down again anyways, even if I plan to use this because it's uh, I don't want it to turn on right now. It's got to turn on a little earlier. You know what? The stinking uh, thing is not even going to be visible when I go outside because the direction I'm going to walk out in, it's going to get hidden by the, uh, the pane. So I'm going to try to move it over a little bit. Caught it. Alright, let's try that again. Now this is the kind of trouble that I recall having last year. So I guess the, uh, the first time the other ones went in just happened to go easily for some reason. Take two. Yeah, 
that's where I want it. Only the string would release a little bit better than it is. Perfect. Okay. Now let's see how it looks. Well, it's certainly much brighter. Uh, let's turn on the Christmas lights in here and see how it looks in relation to everything else. Actually, you know what? I don't want number six on. I don't think we have enough power on the circuitry for that. But how much I have running. Okay, um, I gotta adjust that snowflakes thing a little bit, but uh, I don't know. I'm thinking the uh, the ones on the left there, that one is better because it's it's just much brighter. Let's go take a look from the outside. This is what it looks like from the outside. Those are incandescent candles. I think it's an easy decision, that one it is.